Tier zero, drop boxes to a buffer box. Combine your drop boxes through daisy chain or combiner into a conveyor and into your buffer box. Power the conveyor and turn it on. This will filter anything you put in it. Into the buffer box. The purpose of this is to get loot from your drop boxes and into this buffer box, which should be in your core or anywhere, just away from the extremities of your base. These drop boxes will be in your gatehouses or on your roof, anywhere where you enter your base with loot, you should have a drop box there. And this buffer box will bring it away and into a centralized location. Tier one is the initial sorting and loop phase. Start off by combining your buffer box with all your storage boxes. Place as many combiners as you need for this. I like to leave a couple extra slots open just in case I need to expand it in the future. Then we can split it again to the four boxes or however many boxes you have in your loot room. Do not split it to the box here though. Make sure we have one conveyor per box here. And then connect the conveyors to their boxes. Next you wanna add the filters. So this first one's wood. Second one is ore. So you wanna add all the different types of ore. Next, for the armor and guns, we'll want to add category filters. So for armor, that would be clothing, because that encompasses all clothing and armor. Then for guns, same thing, except for weapons. I'll we'll also want to add ammo. You can have a separate ammo box, but in my initial system, I like to keep that all together. Next, we can power this all. It takes four power. Branch out four. Turn them all on. Now if I depot all these items in the drop box, they'll automatically get moved into the buffer box and moved along into their respective slots here. Armor, guns and ammo, or there goes the wood. The reason you have everything in a loop here is in case one of your teammates puts something in the wrong box, it'll automatically correct it and move it back over. Tier two is the more refined filtered options in your base. So you can put your high tier guns or only your high tier ammo and it's not cluttered with all the lower tier stuff. So this is when you'd have your open core loot room or whatever, your, your main loot room finished. You want to plug the tier one main pipeline into all of these boxes and you can create another loop like you have in tier one. Uh, you don't have to, but if you are going to do further piping past just organizing your boxes, then I recommend you do put the loop in but you can just plug the pipeline directly into all these boxes for sorting if that's as far as you're going to go first of all i added another splitter here before i go on to the tier 2 pipeline uh, just in case i need to add on to the tier 1 i won't have to redo anything over here i can just add on using this extra splitter i'll add some combiners over here i have eight boxes and i need to add in the pipeline like this and i'll just add another combiner just in case i need to add more boxes later on i'll switch my color to blue Bring the main pipeline from tier one over and uh, plug in all these boxes. It can help if you put a floor here for getting the pipes out of the loot rooms and uh, around the thresholds of these wall frames. Now I'll just connect these all together into one line. And we have extra sockets in case we want to expand it later. Next we want to set up our splitters, put those over here. Want to make sure we have enough for all eight of these boxes nine output so it gives us eight boxes plus one for uh, whatever else we want to do with this so that's perfect make sure we put our conveyors one for each box here and connect them all up and now we have to set our filters for this one we just need metal frags and high qual next one stone next one is guns so this is where you choose which guns you want in here. So these will just be my high tier guns, like my AK, LR, Bolti, L96, M249. It doesn't really matter what guns you add there, just whatever you want work. And ammo, you wanna add all your 5.56s and your pistol ammos. On the bottom row, we have sulfur, charcoal, meds. This one, you can just put a uh, general filter on it. And armor, this is where you can specify only high tier armor. Of course, you can edit that however you want. Now this will take eight more power. Now that we've set up the filters, 
Let's see, only the AKs have come over to the guns box and the 5.56 ammo to the ammo box. Only the metal armor come over back here. You can see they left the bow and arrows there and all the burlap stuff. Warriors are here. They didn't move into the other box at all because they need to be smelted first. Since we connected all the boxes in a loop, if uh, someone were to say, put some ammo in the gun box, it'll automatically sense that there's ammo in there and move it over to the ammo box. And we left an open uh, socket here on the uh, this tier two pipeline and that will be able to bring resources from any of the tier two boxes or the tier one boxes for uh, any further application of the pipeline. This system is completely modular as you can see. You can add more boxes to tier one, add more drop boxes in tier zero, add more inputs and outputs to tier two. Completely modular, it's very organized, and uh, I think this is the best way to set up your industrial system. Thank you for watching my modular industrial pipe setup and uh, hopefully you can use this in all your future builds to come and it'll keep things tidy and simple. I'll have videos coming out soon on how to add modular components onto this system, so be sure to stay tuned.